Here's how to make a photo collage on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you wanted to make a collage of multiple different photos, but you don't necessarily want to download and install third-party apps, I'll show you how to do it. Now, what I'm gonna use is the Shortcuts app. This comes pre-installed on your iPhone. It's an Apple app. If you don't necessarily see it there, just go over to your library and just search for Shortcuts. Now, I'm gonna open up the Shortcuts app here. And once I'm on here, I'm gonna tap on gallery at the bottom right. And on here, let's just search for photo. And you can see at the very top is photo grid. I can tap on it and let's hit add shortcut here. And we'll hit cancel and tap on shortcuts at the bottom left. And you can see now it has added your shortcuts for the photo grid. So I can tap on it. And now all it does is it brings up my photo gallery and I can choose some images. Let's say, um, let's choose that one as well. And just hit add. And just like this, it automatically puts it in a collage. You can see, I see the collage. I can tap the share button at the bottom left and I can share this into my images, basically into my photo gallery. If I hit save image, I can copy it, I can print it, I can text it to somebody, I can email it to somebody, any of those different things. Of course, you can add it to social media if you want to as well. But just like that, you have added that collage without downloading and installing any third-party apps. Now, keep in mind, you can always hop out here and open up the app store, and then you can type in photo, collage and there are a bunch of different apps on here that will make collages for you that might be a li little bit you know fancier cooler backgrounds cooler borders all of that stuff but essentially you can do it all by yourself on your phone without downloading any third-party apps or you could always just go through and download a third-party app if you wanted to get a little bit more fancy hope this helps if you have any questions on that leave them in the comments down below and i'll catch you on the next one